there's only four questions. So uh, <laughs> the next question is, who was your best and toughest opponent in your oh, professional nice. career? Well, the toughest opponents sometimes would be myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's tough to, I mean, all the players, the generation I play, I play through, uh, through different generations. So I played the generation of Peter Nicole Power, Thierry, Shabana, and then uh, the Rami, uh, then Shorbagi, uh, and then when, uh, at the end I was uh, playing with Farad. So I played different generation and uh, it's tough to say who's the, who was the toughest. They all had a unique style. Uh, on their day, they were all tough, even on the bad day. You know, it was. So maybe the tough one to actually uh, cope the pace with was maybe Rami, because he would, uh, he would be the one who, who volleyed the most, to read the game the, the best, and move you four corners. You know, like he doesn't play like two shots at the same uh, same place. So that's that was difficult. You know, in terms of. Uh, uh, the reason, you know, he can in the pace he can play hard. So, yeah, and and this is a game, you know. Uh, uh, my game was to play quick, uh, move quick, and, uh, and uh, I had to play a different style of game to actually uh, not burn myself, you know. So that was kind of tough for me. But uh, overall, you know, like uh, most of the guys uh, I said, like even Nick, like James, and Karim Darush, all the guys I played were all number one, all tough. So. Uh, yeah, I was lucky to, to play all those guys, uh, and it was good to uh, to see those, uh, you know, to, to live those moments with di different generations, and had good time as well with people. I connected a lot with a lot of, a lot of players, and that was uh, this is what re is really rich, you know, in our sport. You know, mm -hmm. so when you talk about Canada, when I was a kid, I uh, first met Power, Ben Power, when I was 15, 16, and he was in France and going. Uh, he was on the weekend playing uh, French League playoffs. Uh, French League, not the playoffs. It was in March, and he was supposed to go uh, to Pakistan Open, which was a major event. And I remember on the weekend, as he could speak French, you know, we really connected well. And uh, he saw me play, and, and then uh, he was like, "Oh, Greg, I'm flying on Tuesday. Uh, I'm flying on Tuesday to Pakistan. Uh, would you mind coming back to Paris?" So I had to drive. Uh, I finished my matches on Saturday, drove back to Lille, where I used to be, and then uh, drove on the Monday morning just to have one hit, uh, three hours drive. <laughs> <laughs> he took him for the first time and then back, and then he won Pakistan, then he called me and said, Greg, can you come in the summer to I said, for sure, I'll come, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then he won Commonwealth Games. So, and then since then we connected, and, uh, and uh, I really learned a lot from him. You know? uh, every tournament we used to... Uh, to practice together in the rooms, uh, so it was kind of an inspiration too, you know. Uh, so moving to Canada sometimes is good, my friend. <laughs> <laughs>